I'm going to show you how to do assignment two, which is create a song in binary form. Let's take a look at the assignment. The assignment says create an A and B section that repeats at least once. Then you need to add a bass pattern that lasts the entire song and add a drum pattern that lasts the entire song. So let's go and um, dive it right in so I can show you how it works. Okay. So basically you are going to click on the assignment. Click Yours will say begin assignment. It'll, it will be in green. You click on it and then once you click on it this you um, click teacher assignment. After you click teacher assignment, this will pop up. Once this pops up, you are not going to hit instrument, drum machine. You're not going to hit any of these little boxes. You're going to go down here where it says browse loops. We're going to click on it. Once we click on it, now it brings you here. So if you look, if you follow my little mouse, it says packs over here and it says loops over here. So what you can do is click on packs. Your job is to go through the go. You can go through the different little boxes, and they, if you read them, it'll tell you what kind of music of the box will have inside, the pack will have inside. So let's just keep looking. Let's see. This one says Winter Mountain. Winter Mountain is an indie song pack. Okay, let's look more. Sync funk, groovy funk, and modern disco essentials. Hmm, that sounds interesting. So I'm going to click on this one. Okay, let's remember. So our assignment is that we're going to create an A and B section that repeats at least once. All right, so what I'm going to look for is I need to create, find an A section. So I need to find a loop to be my A section. What I want to make sure I do is I don't want my A section or B section to be a drum pattern or a bass pattern. So let me go back. Okay, so let's see. Let me try this one out. That says bass over here. So that's probably not going to be it. Let's try this one. Hmm. Try this one. So I'm just going to keep going through. Well, this one's, this one's not bad. It's pretty good. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to drag it over here. So this is going to become my A section. I'm going to highlight it, and I'm going to write A section. So that's my A section. Okay, so now I need to find a B section. So what I want to, what you need to know from this is it's in D sharp minor, and it's 105 beats per minute. Okay, let's see if we can find another song in D sharp minor. If not, we'll have to change the key. Let's take a look. Okay, so what's this one? D sharp minor over here. Let's listen. No, let's go down here. D sharp minor. Oop. I don't know if I want that because I don't know what it sounds like. No. Let's keep working. This one's an E minor. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one. And it's an E minor. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here where it says key change. I'm going to click on it. And let me change it to E minor. Where is E minor? Hmm. E minor. So it says, would you like to adjust existing regions to E minor? Yes. Now I'm going to change this one to my B section. So now, oops, spelled wrong, oops. 
my B section. Okay. So now my A and B section, now it's in E minor because I just adjusted it. So this A section is no longer in D minor. Okay, so what I want to do is let's go back to the project. It says create an A and B section. We did that. But now it says repeat that it repeats at least once. So I want to make it repeat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my A section. I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to bring this little cursor guy over here. Then I'm going to paste it. So now I repeated that one. So let me repeat my B section once. Let's copy it. And then the cursor is already over here. I'm going to paste it. So now I have A section, B, A, B. So there we go. Now what I want to do is, let's look at the directions. Now it says we need to add a bass pattern that lasts the entire song. So let's go into our loop, our pack, synth, synth funk pack, and I'm going to go where it says search, and I'm just going to type in bass. Oop, there's lots of options here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, let's see, we have it in E minor, so we could, it's important to look at the key. If you, um, it doesn't match up with the one that you already have, you can always change it, the, change it up here. But um, I found one that says E minor, so I'm going to take it and drag it. Okay, so I'm dragging that over here. Okay, that one says E minor. And I am going to now go over here to this little arrow, and I'm going to drag this all the way over. So the entire song now has this bass pattern. Now what I'm going to do is, um, it says that we need a drum pattern that lasts the entire song. So let's type in the search bar. Um, let's see if drum works. Drum. So it says no loops found. So we could also type in beat. Let's see if that, that pops up. Oh, no loops found for beat. So what we want to do is we know that we need some kind of funk sound. So we can go over here to loops, and in the search bar we can write funk, and then we can write beat, or you can write funk drum. I'm gonna write. I'm gonna click on beat. I'm gonna write beat. So let's see. Okay, I like that one. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to drag it over here. Now let's bring it to the beginning and I'm going to go to the arrow and drag it so the entire song has the drum pattern. Let's see, do we want to change the key? We don't really need to change the key because we already did that. Maybe let's see if I want to change the beats per minute. Let me try to make it, let's make it a little bit faster. So the one that the drum pattern I used said 117 beats per minute. That's what that means. So let me just make the whole song 117. So I'm going to press that. I'm going to adjust it so it's a little bit faster. Now, looks like I need to make these longer. Let's, I'm going to grab this arrow, make it a little bit longer. Let's make it all the way down to here. The, the drums, make it all the way down to here. All right, now let's just press play and see what it sounds like. B section. Nice, I like it actually. Um, okay, so let me just show you one more thing that we can do. So let's just, first let's go to the assignment. So create an A and B section that repeats at least once. We did that. Create a bass line that lasts the entire song. That was done. And create a bass pattern that was last the entire song. So we have our A and B section. It repeats once. We have our bass section. And we also have our beats or drum section. 
Now we can also do one more thing where we go over here to this little um, box and um, click on it and then there's these lines. So what we can do is we can we can fade in by like clicking a little, making a little circle dot and then clicking another one. So once you have two, you can like make it go like this. So the volume is going to be like almost non-existent and then slowly get louder. It's going to fade from low to loud. And then we can, that's, that one's fine because we don't want, we don't need that one to go to fade, but I can go to here at the end in the B section and I can make two dots and kind of fade that one out. Um, actually, I don't think I need to, so I'm going to leave it the way it is, okay? So that's just going to stay where it is. I'm going to go to where the base is and I'm going to fade that one out. Honestly, on this song, it doesn't seem like it needed it, but I'm just going to do it because I want you to know how to do this. Um, and I'm going to, to, fade, to fade from quiet to loud in the beginning of the song from my bass and my drum. All right, now I'm going to close this, or actually bring this back, and let's listen to it. See how it fades out? Perfect. Good. Actually, I did like it. And then I'm going to click on the box so that you don't have to see that. Um, now I'm done. So we completed the assignment. Then you're going to go on your computer. It will say submit over here in the corner. So you'll click on submit. And then I will get your song. Um, it will basically come up.